first thermonuclear bomb is tested. In the same year, Von Braun publishes Das Mars Project, a comprehensive technical workup for a large-scale space program that will become the blueprint for NASA's Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo projects. In 1955, Paramount Pictures releases Conquest of Space. It, too, is based on von Braun's planetary plans. At Los Alamos National Lab, Project Rover begins. It's an effort to harness nuclear fission to drive spaceships at constant thrust. Project Orion, a different approach to nuclear rockets, starts testing hardware. The idea is to detonate atomic bombs behind a ship to push it along. It's called pulsed plasma wave propulsion. Outrageous as it seems, this method could offer rapid transport to Mars and the rest of the solar system. The U.S. Nuclear Engine for Rocket Vehicle Application, NERVA program, accumulates 17 hours of live engine test time. It raises hopes for Mars missions and moon bases. In the Soviet Union, engineers are working on nuclear thermal rockets of their own. Soviet leaders have the specific goal of making Mars a politically red planet. The Soviets try several times to send probes to Mars, But they get no closer than 197,000 kilometers and achieve very little science. Someday, a manned trip to Mars and return may become the mission assignment. To answer that challenge, Kraft Ericke, a visionary German-American engineer, introduces the idea of ganging together clusters of nuclear rockets. He argues that his modular approach could bring Mars and Venus within reach as early as the 1970s. Ericke passionately believes that human expansion throughout the solar system is a fundamental right. And that we are at our most dignified when we apply the laws of physics to elevate and protect human freedom.